working on pivot tables before. Mm -hmm. One of the things that you may recall when we were doing it is when we clicked on the pivot table button in the insert tab, there was pivot table and pivot chart. Oh, okay. So we can actually use that same structure to create a chart that we pivot around too. Oh, that sounds good. So go ahead and click on the insert tab in our ribbon. And there's your pivot table option over in the tables option on the far left. Now before we choose that, we want to check where our active cell is. It's in our data and that's what we want to be sure and it's only one cell. Okay. So we go back up there to the tab and the tables group pivot table and there it is, pivot ah. chart. So let's click on that. And it starts out the same way. It picks up the range. It says, where do you want to put it? We want to do a new worksheet. So we click OK. Ah, the only difference here is there's a chart box in the place of where we put our data table or our pivot table earlier. And over on the right, we have our fields. Maybe we wanted a chart that told us by last name where people were shipping to or how much and how much we're shipping to different locations okay. crosswise. So let's choose last name and our ship to. And then as far as something to calculate, let's go with amount. Okay. All right. Whoa. Now that's looking a little bit messy, isn't it? But it is. we can pivot things around. So why don't we pull the ship to up into the legend? All right. Ooh. Okay, so wow. it's still kind of a busy chart, but you get kind of the idea of what we're trying to do here. And you can, of course, pivot things around. Maybe you don't want the ship to here, you want the ship from here, or you want to total a different quantity. Um, or we could look at it individually. You could. You could put it up there, and you could look at, at it by last name. I like that. That's really cool. And then we could go, and you showed me how mm -hmm. we could go in and select multiple items and pick which ones we want right. to pull out. Right, okay. exactly. So that's just a real quick look at it. It works the same as the pivot tables do, except we're creating a chart. And obviously you have a pivot chart tools tab in the ribbon again. And you'll notice that you have some design layout format and there's an analyze tab there too. Let's click on the analyze. And so that's where some of the buttons that we're accustomed to from our pivot table show up. Right. Whereas the design layout and format are probably more related to our charting. Yes, those look just like the ones mm -hmm. that we've done in a previous module on charting. That's right. great. So that's in a snapshot pivot charts. Mm -hmm.